Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of celebrated Coin3 model from Alibaba. I already have shown you how to get it installed locally in various variants plus how to get it installed with Olama. We have seen it from different angles from RAG, MCP and I will continue to cover it in from other angles in great detail. For the purpose of this video though, I am going to share with you a quick snapshot of the various flavors and the architecture of this model because a lot of people are asking different questions under different videos of this Quen3 so I just thought of combining all the questions and their answers in this video. So this video is pure theoretical. If you are looking to do a hands-on and if you want to see the testing, then just search on my channel with Quen3 and you should be able to find heaps of videos. So what exactly is this model? Well, the release of Quen3 has really, really changed the game, the way we think about these models in every size. These are the latest addition to the Quen family of large language model. This is a flagship model which not only comes in dense architecture but also in mixture of expert. If you look at this table, this gives you a quick summary of what has happened in Quen3. You can see that it comes in various sizes from CPU based 0.6 billion and 1.7 billion to a small 4 billion through 8 billion and 14 billion to a 32 billion parameter model. So these are the dense model. What it means is that whenever a user issues a query, all the neurons in the model gets activated. And then towards the end, we have two mixture of expert model uh, models, which are sparse models. What it means that instead of activating all the neurons, the experts only get activated as per user's query. Now, in this mixture of expert, the flagship model is this Quen3 235 billion A22 billion. Whereas this A22 or A3B, this stands for activated parameters. So, for instance, in this 235 billion A22 billion, what it means is that the size of the model is 235 billion parameters, whereas only 22 billion parameters are activated. This 235 billion parameter model achieves competitive results in benchmarks, evaluation of coding, math, general capabilities when compared to rest of the models including DeepSeq R1, GPT-401, O3 Mini, Gross 3 and Gemini 2.5 Pro and all of these models are top notch models but this last model Quen3 235 billion has beaten them all. Even the smaller mixture of expert model, this 30 billion one, outcompetes Quen's own QWQ model with 10 times fewer activated parameters. And even a teeny tiny model like Quen3 4 billion can rival the performance of Quen 2.5 72 billion instruct. So you see, within just few months, Alibaba has beaten their own model with fewer resources and the quality of 4 billion parameter model rivals 72 billion parameter and this is not a small thing. This has far reaching implications especially when it comes to AI hardware. So it means that you can do way more by using less. All of these models are open sourced. All of these models are Apache 2 licensed. And you can find them on Hugging Face, Model Scope, Kaggle, Olama, LM Studio, MLX, Llama.cpp, K Transformer, and various others. You can serve them in your own network through VLLM and SGLang, and we already have done a video on both of them. Now, there are various key features of these models. First and foremost, my favorite one is that it supports two modes thinking mode and non thinking mode. In the thinking mode, the model takes time to reason step by step before delivering the final, final answer. This is ideal for complex problems like very complex math and coding, whereas non-thinking one provides quick near instant responses where you just want a role play or a dialogue and you can very easily switch on and switch off and we already saw it in the videos. One 
Another cool feature, especially for larger models, is that it is multilingual and supports 119 languages and their dialects. And it's extensive, and this extensive capability opens up new possibility for international applications, diversity, enabling users worldwide to benefit from the power of these models. And you can see that it covers almost every major language out there and even various obscure ones and we already have tested it out this is simply out of this world now this is one of my favorite part where they have shared pre-training and post-training one so allow me to spend some time on it in terms of pre-training the data set for coin 3 has been significantly expanded compared to coin 2.5 while coin 2.5 was pre-trained on 18 trillion tokens Coin3 uses nearly twice that amount with approximately 36 trillion tokens covering 119 languages and dialects. To build this large data set, they collected data not only from the web but also from PDF-like documents. They used Coin2.5 VL to extract text from these documents and Coin2.5 to improve the quality of extracted content. To increase the amount of math and code data, they used Coin 2.5 Math and Coin 2.5 Coder to generate synthetic data including textbooks, question answer pairs and code snippets. There were three steps in pre-training. The model was pre-trained on over 30 trillion tokens with a context length of 4K. This stage provided the model with basic language skills and general knowledge. Then came stage 2 where they improved the data set by increasing the proportion of knowledge intensive data such as science and math, coding and reasoning task and the model was then pre-trained on additional 5 trillion tokens. You see step by step it is evolving. Last and final stage they used high quality long context data to extend the context length to 32k tokens and you can extend it to 131708 with yarn. Now this post training pipeline which you are watching on your screen this is to develop the hybrid model capabilities and this is a four stage training pipeline you see it starts with long chain of thought cold start where they have fine tuned the model using diverse long code data covering various tasks and domains such as math coding logical reasoning and stem and this process aimed to equip the model with fundamental reasoning abilities then came reasoning based reinforcement learning where they scaled up computational resources for rl utilizing rule-based rewards to enhance the model's exploration and exploitation capabilities. Third, they integrated non-thinking capabilities into thinking model by fine-tuning it on a combination of long code data and commonly used instruction tuning data. This data was generated by the enhanced thinking model from the second stage, ensuring a seamless blend of reasoning and quick response capabilities. Fourth and final, they applied RL across more than 20 general domain tasks to further strengthen the model's general capabilities and correct undesired behavior. These tasks included instruction following, format following and agent capabilities. And this is a bit more data on all the benchmark uh, which I discussed. Now if you look at the actual benchmarks which they have shared, this is simply amazing. You see Quen3 has shown strong performance in general tasks like MMLU, MMLU Redux, Super GPQA. On math and science like GPQA and GSM8K, it really has excelled and beaten almost every other model out there, including DeepSeek R1. And if you look at the numbers from this 235 billion mixture of experts, this is simply to die for. Coding task, Eval Plus, you know, Cruxo, this has performed in an exceptional manner. So all in all, I would say that this is a game changer, a real, real tectonic plate shift when it comes to small to medium size to bigger model with reasoning capabilities. Uh, I believe that even maybe tomorrow or today, uh, when, whenever you're watching this video, LlamaCon would be happening and they're releasing Llama 4, which more than likely is Llama, is reasoning model. I think this model maybe unfortunately has already eclipsed that unless uh, Meta come up with something really, really cool. Also, DeepSeek R2 would really have to be really, really good. Otherwise, I think this is going to also eclipse that because Alibaba has just lifted their game to next level. 
एनीवे वी आल्सो वांट टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द स्पॉन्सर्स ऑफ द वीडियो हु आर कैमल एआई कैमल इज एन ओपन सोर्स कम्युनिटी फोकस्ड ऑन बिल्डिंग मल्टी एजेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर फाइंडिंग द स्केलिंग लॉस विद एप्लीकेशन इन डेटा जनरेशन टास्क ऑटोमेशन एंड वर्ल्ड सिमुलेशन इफ यू लाइक द कॉन्टेंट प्लीज़ कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द चैनल If you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching